So in past videos, I've had a lot of my subscribers ask me in the comment section what certifications I recommend for cybersecurity or what certifications I recommend for people who want to become SOC analysts or cybersecurity analysts. So in this video, I am going to be giving you my recommended cybersecurity certification pathway for people who want to become SOC analysts or cybersecurity analysts. So let's get right into it. What is up guys welcome and welcome back to the channel if you're new my name is day and on this channel i'll talk about cybersecurity and other life stuff so in this video i'm going to be giving you my recommended cybersecurity analyst or suck analyst career certification pathway so this is for people who have maybe some experience in tech or in it or a different field or have zero experience um this certification pathway is for you whichever um whichever uh, category you fit in so i'm going to be giving you my sort of just the recommendations why i'm recommending those certifications and in what order um i recommend that you do the certification so let's get into it so uh from the beginning we're going to start with the basics i always start with the fundamentals of it networking and security um operating systems all of that fun stuff so in order for you to get the fundamentals, you I would recommend that you study for the CompTIA A+. And I get a lot of backlash or a lot of disagreement from people who hear that I recommend studying for the CompTIA A+. Just putting this out there, I'm not saying take the certification. I'm just saying just study for the certification. I feel like it covers the basics, the fundamentals of IT. General stuff that everybody who is in the tech field or the IT industry should know and understand for the basics of everything else. So I recommend the A+, plus, study for the A+, plus. you don't necessarily have to take a certification, but it would give you the baseline knowledge that you need for everything else after that. Next is the Network Plus or the CCNA, but specifically the Network Plus because that's what I have my experience with. So a lot of times people who wanna become security professionals or cybersecurity analysts specifically, um, a lot of times people neglect the networking aspect. Um, networking is a really integral aspect of cybersecurity. Cybersecurity systems are connected together with networking. They're really the backbone of our cybersecurity systems are connected with networking. So you have to understand what an IP address is, of course, how IP addressing works, how private IP addressing works, public IP addressing, ports, protocols, all of that stuff, how networking works, uh, local area network, your wide area network, um, uh, network address translation, subnet, and you have to understand all of these core networking concepts because you're going to have to need, you're going to have to understand them as a cybersecurity analyst because you're going to be analyzing network logs. Everything you're going to be doing in your cybersecurity anal analysis is in some way, shape, or form tied back to networking. You're going to be analyzing IP addresses, you're going to be analyzing network communica communication, you're going to be analyzing network packets with capture, uh, with a uh, we could be, you could be analyzing network packet captures with Wireshark. So having that solid understanding of networking, at least a baseline, is going to be important. And I recommend Network Plus for that because it gives you all you need. If you want to, you can definitely do the CCNA. Um, it's definitely a lot more Cisco specialized and a lot more deeper into core networking stuff than in Network Plus. But I still recommend Network Plus because it's just what you need. And over time, you can definitely learn other networking concepts on your own. That you might need later down the line. So for the networking basics, Network Plus, and of course next Security Plus. Um, so if you already know, that's the whole CompTIA trifecta: the CompTIA A Plus, Network Plus, and Security Plus. So the Security Plus gives you a really broad overview of the whole cybersecurity shebang, right? It gives you the a bird's eye view of everything in cybersecurity, right? It's like it's not extremely detailed but it's so much information and it covers so many topics and concepts that you're kind of able to grasp the generality of cybersecurity, right from you know different topics from governance risk and compliance to penetration testing to security analysis to network security to all that stuff the security plus covers all of that um and that gives you a really really broad perspective of cybersecurity as a whole so it's a great plus next and the a plus and network plus studies have would have given you a really solid baseline for security plus and would definitely help you pass the security plus faster understand understand the material better so i definitely recommend taking the security plus not necessarily taking the a plus or network plus um because those generally 
are not usually required by cybersecurity for cybersecurity positions. But security plus is really one of the requirements for cybersecurity positions. So definitely recommend taking security plus. And then afterwards, I recommend the cybersecurity certification from Security Blue Team, which is the Blue Team Level One. Um, I'm currently studying for this certification myself. Um, I'm I'm hoping to take the test either this week or next week, depending on when you're watching this video, because I'm pretty much done with my studies and this certification. I cannot recommend it enough for anyone who wants to get into the SOC analyst world or, you know, become a cybersecurity analyst or a incident responder or a SOC analyst. So this certification covers, um, I believe, five major domains. So security fundamentals, uh, digital forensics, uh, security information and event management, uh, incident response, and I forgot the last part. Also, uh, threat intelligence. So those five domains are covered by this uh, certification and this certification since i've been studying for it i've been able to learn a lot of things and some things i wish i had learned before i became a stock analyst so i recommend the certification before you know as you're as you're trying to get into your stock analyst role because it covers all of the domains that are usually required by a stock analyst for a stock analyst so it also it incorporates labs so you're going to be using um a threat intelligence platform you're going to learn how to use a firewall you're going to learn um how to analyze security events with with a sim you're going to learn digital forensics you're going to learn incident response so many things that are covered i'm going to do an in-depth video once i'm done with the exam i'm going to do a, a very in-depth analysis of the certification and my experience with it so you can have a better understanding of how solid this certification is for uh, anyone who wants to become a security analyst especially at the entry level so suck analyst security analyst uh, this certification is highly recommended after the comptia trifecta Next is the CompTIA CYAC Plus. CYAC Plus is a really great certification um, because it tests your knowledge of uh, general understanding of security security operations and like incident response. I failed this certification on my first attempt uh, because I I believe I had limited experience or I just didn't study well enough for the certification. I actually have videos for all of the certifications uh, and I'll leave cards to them somewhere up here. And I'll also leave my playlist where I have all of the videos uh, in the description below. So definitely be sure to check it out. If you have any questions about the certifications, definitely be sure to leave a comment or join my Discord community where I'm happy to answer your questions. And other people who have passed the certifications will be happy to answer your questions. So back to the CYSA Plus, definitely recommend it after the Blue Team Level 1 because the Blue Team Level 1 gives you the practical experience. So if I didn't mention it before, the Blue Team Level 1 is a 24-hour exam where you have 12 hours for a security investigation and 12 hours to complete your report on the security investigation. So afterwards, I believe you would have enough knowledge and skills in order to be uh, to have a better chance at passing the CYC Plus, which teaches you uh, different things, uh, you know, in more so security operations and incident response. So the combination of the blue team level one and CYC Plus is really, really good to get that really, really rounded view of the SUC analyst role, the cybersecurity analyst role, and the skills required for the role. Next, I recommend some sort of um, offensive security certification, um, specifically either the EJPT from eLearn Security or the P PMPT from uh tcm security the reason why is because there are just certain things you really can't grasp as a cybersecurity analyst without having some form of offensive security knowledge so in order for you to properly understand how certain attacks are propagated or how they work being able to kind of see them from the offensive offensive perspective will give you a better understanding of how they work and how you can properly detect and analyze them in your environment so that's why i kind of recommend having that kind of offensive knowledge because you you're able to see the attacks from a different perspective or see cybersecurity from a different perspective rather than just the defensive perspective which the blue team level one and cyc plus would have covered a lot so the jpt and pmpt week or pmpt will give you that balance that you need and also finally i recommend some sort of cloud certification so either uh, aws cloud practitioner or azure fundamentals um or the entry level certification from Google Cloud just for you to understand how cloud works because a lot of environments now are really cloud heavy or uh, like in hybrid situations. So being able to understand um, these cloud environments, understand them at the basic form, it's going to be important. Um, so those 
entry level certifications studying for them definitely give you the understanding that you need for the basics and you can definitely proceed from there onwards so those are my certification recommendations and the certification pathways that are recommended for anyone who wants to become a SOC analyst or cybersecurity analyst i hope this video was valuable to you if you like this video please be sure to smash like button and be sure to subscribe if you're new, subscribe and be sure to share this video with anyone who you think will provide value to. If you have any recommendations and certifications or any questions, uh, uh, be sure to leave a comment or be sure to join my Discord in order to ask your questions. Thank you once again for watching this video. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.